to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that dial. We have a show here. It's, it's almost like we're planting seeds for a beautiful garden here in Norristown. Norristown, who years ago, not years ago, when I was a policeman in Norristown, uh, Norristown was known as the gateway to Valley Forge. And uh, we were, you know, we had everything here, you know. Uh, people, we had circuses, we had shows, we had bands with, and everything. And suddenly, there's not too much what's going on for the last maybe 20, 25 years or so. But something's happening near Norristown. The theater, okay. Art, you know, that's what's coming to Norristown. And my guest today, we're going to talk about it. We're talking about things are happening. You know, that a town can survive when they have you know, uh, uh, art, where they have music, where there's food, where people can enjoy themselves. And that's what Norristown is. We're the county seat, and we're getting cooperation from everybody, the county, the state, and everybody. And we have a committee, volunteers, everybody's jumping in. And uh, we have uh, a, a program coming up on uh, April the 24th, and uh, the coordinator, launch coordinator, is off camera. His, his name is Gene Frank. And he's the one that's coordinating this whole thing. But my two guests today is Gabriel and Rich. Okay? Now, welcome to the Hank Cisco Show. Thank you, sir. And I want you to tell everybody, this show goes to it goes Comcast and Verizon all over Montgomery County. Okay. So people want to know about it. Now, why is this art district? What's it about? What's, what's, it, what's, what's scoop? On the arts the district. Tell me. It begins well, with how important the is it? idea of revitalization of a town that right. has lost its verve. I agree. So people got together. I was invited to this thing called a task force months ago. Right. Came aboard and found out that they were working on an arts district for Narstown, Pennsylvania. Right. Fabulous. Uh, What's your background? My background? I've got a varied background. I'm an educator. Used to teach at the Wiss Hicken School District, third grade. Wiss Hicken? I'm an entrepreneur. School teacher. School teacher. School days, school days, Love right? It. Exactly. Okay, good, okay. Getting back to the Arts Hill. Uh, the idea was there, and it's been tried many times before, to create an arts district in Narstown. So we've seen that any, any community that has come back has always come back with an arts structure or some kind of... Uh, arts revitalization right, at the right, base. Because right. it brings in new people, brings in youth, brings in new right. ideas, and also, right. also re-sparks. Uh, An example is Ambler. Exactly. They got a theater there. The next, uh, right next to the theater is the Boot right. Restaurant. I go there at 8 o'clock at night. The place is jammed. People walking up and down the street. From the Boot is fantastic. Going to, you know, the people coming out of the theater to go in and eat. No, I thought I was in New York. And I was born in Brooklyn, you know. So I, I love the big city. And I thought I was in New York, sitting, the, sitting at the window in looking out there. And this is coming to Norristown. Exactly. Right. So tell us what this is all about here, this art, Norristown Art Hill. Norristown Arts Hill. This is the name that was given to the Arts District in Norristown. The Arts that was District. The, they uh, put it out to the people. Pick it out. Put out to the people. And a citizen suggested this name. It was selected by the committee as the one that we wanted to see right. on our label. If you look at the emblem we have here, it was designed by a wonderful woman named Nicole Acker. This uh -huh. is a big slab of earth that represents the hill that you oh, see going up to okay. Cal Street. Let's see, now I'm learning, teacher. Okay. We'll teach you. I, I thought it was in a Catholic school. I was going like this. I thought we were talking to nuns. <laughs> no, this okay. is the slab of earth going <laughs> that up. That is a great idea. From the Arts Hill, actually, the Arts Hill is a district that has greater borders than just DeKalb Street. Right. It runs from Lafayette Street to Chestnut Street going up DeKalb. Right. So you right. go right past the prison. And from Swede Street to DeKalb Street on Main. So it's sort of an L shape that you see. We used to call it by nickname the Fuzzy Arts District because it yeah. doesn't have actual borders. So outside of that, that yeah, area right. is still okay. considered Narstown Arts Hill. Gabriel, yes. what's your job now? You're, you fit into this program. What's the school? Well, I'm with the Narstown Municipality. I'm the Business Development Coordinator. And the municipality is the, one of the larger sponsors of this event. It's a municipal event. So my job is to try to get our current businesses and the community out to support, participate, um, set up booths, and hopefully perform at the event. So that's kind of my role here. Uh, I'll be, you know, I was, I've been on the committee, what, since June, I guess, um, really working on this committee to get this festival up and running, but also the Arts Hill as a district. 
you know, my job would be to get artists into the storefronts, the uh -huh. vacant stores, some of the um, apartments on the Public top. Public relations, keep the ball bouncing, That's right? That's right. Just like a church, they ring the bell every Sunday, remind people, right? Why yeah, they ring the bell? Remind people, go to church, go, okay. <laughs> now, on April the 24th. Correct. Between 10 and 5. five there's going to be a bigger time in town. It's going to have a bigger time, you know, like a feast of the time. They're going to sing in the top of the boop, boop. Okay? So, tell us what's going to happen on that day. On that day, we're having what's called the Narstown Arts Hill. Okay, I'm going to hold Hill it up here. Go ahead. Launch Festival. Narstown Arts Hill Launch Festival. It's a huge, huge, huge festival that's taking place, place in Narstown. One like Narstown has never seen before. The main part of the festival is going to take place on DeKalb Street from Maine up to Marshall. We have two large performance tents that are going up. One will be at the corner of DeKalb and Main Street in that grassy lot that you see oh, there. Oh, yeah, that big lot mm -hmm. there. It's owned by, uh, by Delusia. Delusia. Yeah, right. And then traveling Tenet, up the hill. Tenet is letting you use it. Everybody's right? in cahoots. Right, right. <laughs> going up the hill, and when you get to the give point. him a plug. He might donate something, right? That's right. Well, they, they sponsored the, the area. Did. Well, okay. he's letting us use the area, We're which is huge. We're looking for sponsors. <laughs> Definitely. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little right. bit. Up at the top of the hill, the prison parking lot is the second of two tents. Now, within each of those tents, we also have two stages. Right. So the tents are about 100 feet long by 40. We've got two stages in each tent, and what will happen throughout the day between 10 and 5 p.m. in each tent will be alternating acts. We call it our showcase performances. So they're not full performances where you'd go to a concert and see you know, a few hours of something, but what we've done is we've limited the, the, the showcase performances to about 20 minutes each, so we can see the flavor of everything this area has to offer. We're letting uh -huh. Narstown see that. Look at all this talent we have and all these infor these Where's the talent, people. talent come from? Talent comes from, some is homegrown in Narstown. We have some headliner acts that are coming in from different places throughout uh -huh. the state. We don't want to share what all those are, but they range. You can have a couple of my paisans sing a little yes, old we'll solo meal or there. something? Hopefully, uh, yes, we will okay. see some of that too. That's right. But the yeah. acts range but it's from diversity too. Diversity. We've okay, got dance. I want to hear that diversity. We've got okay. music. Okay. Um, not just diversity in the types of acts, but diversity oh. in ethnicity oh, in the yeah, acts yeah, as well. Yeah, We've got yeah, gospel yeah. choirs. We have authentic Mexican performance right. coming in. We have uh, Egyptian Coptic choirs taking place, oh, taking yeah. part in the oh, activities. Yeah, they're on the hill there, right? They're That's on right. the hill. They're right on the hill. They'll right. actually they're you know, playing a big part right, of the day. You'd stop at Chester Street, right? Yes. Okay, but right on that corner at St. Patrick's Church, it's one of the most beautiful churches. It is. And people go by there and see the statue of St. Saint, Saint Patrick's. I mean, really. Unbelievable. And inside the church, you don't have to be Catholic to go in and see it. It's I know beautiful. I'm in New York. I go to uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral on, on Fifth Avenue. And it's, every, people just go in there and just beautiful, you know, paintings and statues oh. and all. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. see? Father so Murphy's a big supporter of So we open the churches and, you know, people go in and, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, We're making use of, of the architecture that's already there. The, uh, I mentioned the Egyptian Coptic Church. On their steps, there will be performances. Their choir will sing there as well as singing on where? one of the stages. Uh, that is in between, right at Penn Street. Uh, oh, between Penn. Penn and, am I going the right way? Between Penn, Penn, Penn and Airy. Airy. Yeah. It's Penn a beautiful Airy. church. That's huge Egyptian, with the Egyptian green pillars. Church. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that used to be Lutheran. We'll be using that. The steps of the church that are right at uh, DeCalvin area, De area, there uh -huh. will be performances yeah. taking place on those steps. You know, you're talking to a guy that when I, uh, when they come in Narstown, there used to be meters were only one penny for 15 minutes and a nickel for Sounds five. Sounds like a dream. For, for one hour, you know, <laughs> and a three cent stamp. So, you know, here we are. We've come a long way. You know, now, so, and, and, you know, I think this is the first time that I know now, that I've been around a long time, that we're having such a, a a group of people getting together and, and coming up with a performance like this, okay? And, and you know, I, I just feel that, you know what's going to happen? You, right. It's going to be so good that people are going to want to have a, you know, double feature, come back, Absolutely. you know? That's what we're because hoping you, for. for all this year, beautiful music and everything and, and art pushed in within 10 and 5, it's going to be pretty rough, okay? But it's good. It'd be a good appetizer. Wake That's up your right. appetite. People want more. And that's what's going to happen. And not only will it be performances on the stages. Now, in between those two areas, the Delusia lot down at DeKalb in Maine and the prison parking lot tent, we're going to have the space that's right, that's filled right, the with county, vendors, yes. mm -hmm. food vendors, right. uh, fine arts vendors, crafts right. vendors. Right. Smack dab in the middle of that at 401 DeKalb. Don't eat before you go, okay? Certainly there's a lot of food there. <laughs> In the old Bell Telephone Building, 401 DeKalb, there's a film oh, yeah. festival going yeah, yeah. on in there what, all day long. What are you going to do there? There's a film festival going on. Oh. The place will be um, 
decorated with pipe and drapes so it's closed off. There's a real theater in the back. We've got a range of short films that are being donated to us by Crystalline Studios. All right, now Gene Franks, he's the, he's the uh, what's he do? Gene does just about, does just about everything. Um, he's a jack of all trades. He's got an extensive uh, amount of experience. I just met experience. him this morning. He impressed me, uh, that uh, guy that does the hands. That, you know, he's hands on. Yeah, he's, he's got, got an extensive, on right, extensive right. experience in putting on festivals like this right. um, with staging uh, equipment, staging lighting, uh, right. drapery, all types of things. And this morning, you were there, mm -hmm. you were there, uh, Frank was there, and uh, took pictures of all these people, right. interested people in front of the, uh, the theater, well, there are various cultural people. center. It was a photo op um, with our banner. There's a banner across DeKalb Street um, promoting our event on the 24th. But under the banner, we had our committee of people that have been helping with the arts festival, but also local businesses like the jewelry factory, the flower shop, yeah. main changes. Um, CADCOM was there. So there was a mix of people that are interested and supportive yeah, of the right, arts right. festival and the arts hill. And that's where. Yeah, and I see you're wearing that shirt, okay? And I had. We brought I, one I for have you. one here, so I didn't put it on <laughs> because it's hold it up. <laughs> but, uh, but the shirt, now, uh, we're looking for sponsors, too. Now, the, in, back of, sponsors. in back of the shirt, we have people that sponsored, and, for the and here it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Who do we have here? Who's some of the sponsors? We got Norristown. That's right. a, Norristown a logo Recreation for Norristown. Committee. Times Herald. The Times Herald has been more than right. generous. And this other, it's a real estate, right? Demedio Keystone yeah. Realty Group. Keystone, right? And that's just a, a few of what we. Have. So yeah, we're looking for really more sponsors to put absolutely. around here. We're looking for more sponsors. Anyone who's right. interested in being a sponsor. Now it's going to be four hundred dollars. You know, if you you know if you want to make a check out, make a check out to who? Nart. Norristown. It would be, I guess, the Narsound, Narsound. right. Well, if you are looking for, um, it, it depends. If you could donate, it would be the Nars, the Greater Society of the Arts. Well, contact. Yeah. I'll give you the phone number because it's kind yeah, of. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone interested in donating or looking for advertising oh, you give space? The to me. I'll see you to get the right place. <laughs> contact us that. at six one zero two seven two ninety one hundred, or you can email us at um, Narstown. It's going to be on the, on the screen. Yeah, it, we'll no, I know. Screen. Look, when the cameras roll, everybody gets a little... Exactly. Uh, okay, but it's going to be on the screen, okay? <laughs> Info so, at NarstownArtsHill.org. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we practice, we rehearsed this show for two months, okay? <laughs> so I want you to know that we're on the ball. But let me tell you, start marking that date, April the 24th, okay? And look, bring your children. Let these children right. see what's going on. See what's, you know, it's a, a great, we're the county seat. We, you know, the police department is cooperating. The, the county's cooperating. Everybody's, in fact, I'm cooperating. I'm going to get down there and manja, manja, manja. Okay? They're going to be what? They're going to be meatball sandwiches. going to be All meatball types of sandwiches, food. sausage and sausage, peppers. peppers. It's going to be like a bigger feast. Okay? But I'm glad it's you said it's family Irish, friendly. Irish, Polish, Italian. Everybody's going to be there. Okay? You know, like MSS has a feast. Holy Savior has a feast, the Polish have a feast, but this is going to be North and everybody comes to manja manja. You know what manja manja means? Eat. Can I jump in? I, you just mentioned families. This is very family friendly. There's events for the kids. Actually, there's um, several projects for them to do in the streets. There's a film festival feature, um, movies, short films for the children. Um, parking, there's definitely lots of parking available right. so people with strollers, they don't have to worry about you know running up the street. You know, there's plenty of parking. Um, and there's a lot for the kids to do. We'll keep them busy and food and funnel cake and, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, bus transportation. There's bus. We'll accept it. Leave yes. you off on Main Street, you know, wherever you're coming in from college, Bill, Country Hawk, and whatever, you know. So it's easy. So, there's easy access. If you're bringing children out, there are family oriented activities mm -hmm. and performances starting at 10 o'clock. The Center Theater is going to be showing their full piece and dress rehearsal for the kids to take a look at. There'll be friendly, uh, kid oriented dance taking place activities in the morning. So get your kids out there early. As we progress through the day, there'll be many things for people of all ages to do. Do you, do you have any um, show business? Uh, did you ever in theater or anything? Uh, Singing or something? Not, you have a deep voice. Yeah, I do have a deep <laughs> voice. I've done just a little bit of work in theater, but not, little, not little a ton. Theater. Are you gonna, what, what are you going to do that day? I hopefully am going to keep my mind <laughs> straight. <laughs> huh? And uh, coordinate the entire day. Oh, I'm, I'm working as the, the logistics chairman. Right. So what I was responsible for is bringing in many of the acts that you're going to see on oh, the stage. Okay. So I'll okay. be running okay. up and down the hill. Right. Having a good and, time. And though. Frank coordinates us here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, what are you going to be doing? 
probably the same running around, but also before that, I'll be marketing the event. Um, I'm the, I guess, co-chair of the marketing. So we do have a Facebook page, so if people are interested in that. Right, tell, me, tell me how Arts people Hill. get in contact. They want to donate, they want to get information. Two different ways. Well, right, that's, I, that's one way, calling 610-272-9100. It's another way. I'm going to flash that on the screen. Good. Yeah, like, okay. Our email, if you know one of us personally, you know, contact any, any of us. Um, we'll be able to get the information to you. Uh, the main the municipal, email we can use is info right. at narstownartshill.org. We have that one. Right. Okay. You got that right now. We got that That's right. right. <laughs> okay. It's all coming back Took to us me. a minute. Okay. Also, you can visit us on Facebook. Just go, if you're a Facebook member, start typing in in the search, Narstown Arts Hill. It'll pop right up. There's well, all kinds of information. We're in the process now of, uh, of getting a, a theater in Narstown. I think they got some money in the bank starting on that. So that's, that's another show. But, uh, but the theater there, the culture theater, right. theater has been really just keeping the ball bouncing until something's happened. That's right. And now things are starting to happen. Thank God they've know. been there. And this will be, the people see, you know, you know, people give money on a vision. They say, hey, Norristown, it's going to be theater, it's going to be uh, uh, restaurants, and, you know, uh, that's what people get involved when, they, when you, you, the vision, rather than instead of say, well, you know, just like, uh, why, why is the people play the slot machines, you know? Because you get instant reward, instant, you know? Now, if I go over to you and I say, uh, I'm gonna, you wanna buy a ticket for a chance, it's gonna go off two weeks. You say, ah. But if I say, look, you wanna buy a chance? It's gonna go off in five minutes, you buy it, okay? Right. So here we are, right here, we're talking about, we're gonna bring us in and get the people to see what, what we have on, on, on the front burner. You remind me, the tickets, we also have tickets available for our Friday night reception, 5.30 oh, oh, to 7.30. tell me about that, wait, 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 wait. start from the beginning. Okay, at the 401 DeKalb Street um, in the... 401 DeKalb. Right, the old Bell Atlantic Bell building. Bell Telephone, yeah. Yes, um, okay, on that's the on first Penn floor. Penn and DeKalb. Yes, Correct. exactly. Right, now what's going to happen here? It's a fundraising reception, reception on when? the hill. When, Friday the 23rd. 23rd, that's yes. the day before. The day before. The evening at what before. time? 5.30. 5.30. Now, what, 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 what do you want me to do? I'm going to go there. What, 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 well, it's a reception. Up. Well, the tickets are $40 for one person, $75 for a, a couple. couple. Right. So you and your wife could be there. Right. And, and, what's, and what, uh, what, what's going to happen? There will be fabulous entertainment by a woman named Justine Keys, Miss Justine. There will be a jazz trio there. She's oh, yeah. on vocals. There's going to be a, a nice... Uh, resonating bass throughout the, when you see the building and when you get inside you'll understand you know, it's echoey but uh, the bass will be perfect in there and also keyboards did they have a room big enough there I, oh, it's, it's huge you know I, I put 24 years in the police department I walked the beat I did patrol I've never been in that building it's, huge. it's well, beautiful it was very active well, and everything is just been job cleaned with that and it's a beautiful hall they, I know they renovated it because it's, uh, a restaurant was going to move in but I think they bailed out whatever there was a restaurant going to move in there, Something's and coming. that's why they most likely renovated. But it used to be all small rooms, I guess. And this is the know. same building where the film festival will be will be the next day. What's that? This is the same building where the film festival will be. Oh, the okay, next day. okay. Right. In other words, but on on the twenty third, what time? It's five thirty to seven thirty. Five thirty to seven thirty. So tickets are available again. The same it's number. It's a fundraiser, okay? Well, this is right. a fundraiser, the, but there'll right. be food. There'll be you know cocktails. And, and yeah, there's food. There'll be a bar. There'll yeah. be entertainment. I'll There'll be, be there. tons of people. You want me to sing if hands. I go there? We've got everybody from I, uh, politicians to I sang, uh, citizens I sang in front stuff. of uh, President Truman's picture one time. I mean, you should come belt out a tune. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you. But I know show business. I love show business. And the theater, you know, we talk about the, the culture center. I, I pay $60, $65, $70 to see a show down in Philadelphia. I went down there to see a show. Here, the seat was broke. I'm like this, you know, for, <laughs> for two hours. I'm going to come out with a bed back. You go down here at the Culture Center, you get a ringside seat. And you know what? The most of the people that come to see the show are from Philadelphia, from out oh, of town. Right. People in town don't know that what's going on. So, so you know, Northtown's been like a hug without a squeeze. This is the squeeze, Absolutely. okay? On the 24th of April. We're going to bob and weave like, like a fighter, like Muhammad Ali, boom, boom, boom. Right. And okay? we want to see Norristown residents, now, but regionally, we would like to see people from the outside too, but definitely Norristown residents, our community. We right. want to see them support this event. But you know, the residents, how about the people that used to live in town that moved oh, out? Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, when I'm, I walk around, oh, yeah, I used to live in Norristown. Yeah, mm -hmm. Hank, I remember this. They, they love Norristown, but you know, they, there's nothing for them to come back. Well, this, this is, is something, something that's, that's coming right. back. So come on back and taste it. You know, listen, you know, food. Manja, right? Talk, right? There what are else? Also, some events occurring at the zoo that same morning. What's going on out there? The animals going to do a little song too. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
the zoo. Well, I don't know. You got the zoo down. What's you know? Come on. And there's an opportunity. There'll actually be a SEPTA hybrid bus. Um, it, we'll, we're we're getting a schedule ready for it to transport people from the festival to the zoo back and forth, oh, okay, so that you okay. could visit the zoo and then the, the festival. Right. And when they go by, they go by the Columbus Monument. Okay? Exactly. Right. All right. This a lot bus, of things to see. This okay? bus that they're bringing from SEPTA right. is the new and wave of their hybrid. Is that all right if I sing that song? They're eco-friendly hybrid buses that are, they're showing off from SEPTA. So they yeah. said they're going to bring the bus to the festival. People can get on it, travel through town, ah, go to the right. zoo, see what's happening there, and come yeah. on back to the so festival. Yeah. So it's perfect for families. Bus, you said it. That, run bus trans, bus, bus transportation. From where? SEPTA is showing off its new hybrid, eco-friendly, environmentally friendly bus. So people will get on the bus. Where where do they get on? They'll get on at the base of the Arts Hill down at Maine and DeKalb. Yeah. The bus will be on display there. And then they'll travel to Elmwood Park Zoo. Oh. See what's happening at the zoo they that morning. They better go buy Columbus Monument. They will. Absolutely. So we'll have a set schedule for, the, for everyone. Huh? We'll have a, set, a schedule there. Do and that. We, yeah, so we'll, you'll be go able to go to that, both you know, events. When the, as the people are going by, there's the Columbus Monument. There's the... Uh, the fireman's uh, memorial. Mm -hmm. There's the zoo. There's the baseball field. You should Let give the, the tour on the know. zoo. We'll give you a mic. You got to remember, <laughs> an informed nation is a peaceful nation. You got to let people know what's going on. You're right. And that's what we're doing now. Absolutely. What else do you want to tell them? What else can we tell you about the event? The good thing about the way the sponsorship and the advertising opportunities are set up is that everybody can participate on some level. Opportunities range from as low as $15 all the way up to $5,000. If oh. you want to come in and say, hey, we want to sponsor this whole tent, name it the Hank Cisco right. tent, you give us 5,000 bucks, we yeah. put your name on the tent. If you want to sponsor a stage, you want to sponsor uh, certain acts that are taking place, or you can come in just as a, a, a small business and get a quarter page ad, yeah. or maybe a, a business card size ad for 50 or $75, full page, half page. And we're also opening up to the families and friends of the participants right. and the performers who say maybe want to put a good luck ad right. in the, right. in the right. program. Well, the the program's going to go out to, to thousands of people. You know, somebody's son or daughter was killed in the service or whatever. That's they a good idea, too. You know, I know when we were going to Columbus Monument, people were donating money. I'm giving this here because of my husband. You know, he said that... The, Donate money to, to a good cause. That's right. Okay, so this is a good cause. Okay, it's a, it's a good cause. I mean, you know, there's so many causes out there today, but but this is good because Norristown was a, was a really a lively place. Okay, but you know, and suddenly you know, just like the the uh, shopping centers took a lot of business away, but now we're coming back. People are starting to move around. Same thing in Philadelphia, that used to be down around South Street. I remember when I get down there. Place was all abandoned stores and everything. Somebody's developed now. It's Society Hill. Mike, you got now. You got to get a place there. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars for for an apartment house. You know, really. So I don't know. That's the revitalization we're talking. That's about. That's what we're talking about. We right. don't want Narsetown to get too expensive, but we do want it to come back to being a place where people like to visit, right. where they feel safe, where they're happy. They bring their families, their activities, their places to eat, right. things to I, see. I just read. Uh, I just uh, at this morning that the that their affair we had there at the culture center, uh, Nugent, who has uh, had to do with coordinating for the county, is talking about what they're going to do now because O'Neill stepped back as far as developing the waterfront. Yes. So now they're going to come up with something. And when they start developing, look, people used to come home from Country Hocken to get their shoes fixed. My father had a shoemaker store. They used to come from Country Hocken to get their shoes fixed in Norristown. Okay? Every, everything was Norristown. Now, now Country Hocken, they got hotels, they got this, they got that, West Country Hocken, and here we are County seat, we're bobbing and weaving, still bobbing and weaving. But in boxing, you bob and weave to get in position to punch. Now we're doing, we got the punch. Right. Gabish? Gabish. That means understand Italian. Yeah. Okay, now, how are you going to get dressed for that? Are you going to, you going to have that shirt on? Well, that on? day, I'll probably be wearing one of these shirts. It'll be really warm, so I'll be in some uh, Bermuda that's shorts right. as that's well. Right. right. Very comfortable clothing that's going to let right. me move back. That's the it. Hill. You want people dressed comfortable? Comfortable shoes Hat, because sunglasses. you're be walking up and down the hill, right? right? Okay. All right. Now, is there anything you want to tell me? What else you want to tell me? Now, we're getting near the closing time. That this is a reason to visit. If you're from Norristown, this is a reason to come out and support your town. If you're out of Norristown, this is a reason to come to Norristown. You can eat there. You can shop there. You can um, enjoy the arts. And you could go to the zoo. Right. So something to do for the whole day. It's a fabulous event. It's something that we've all come together to work on on a volunteer basis. 
We need help from outside people, whether it be volunteers coming to help right. that day. There'll be all sorts right. of things to do, not just starting at 10 a.m. We're talking about starting at 6 a.m. Right. for setup, for bringing performers to where they need to go. Every kind of bit of hospitality you can think of, we need help. We need right. hundreds of volunteers. We also need help financially to support what's happening. Um, the Narstown Arts Council is our organization that's being formed. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization that will be officially set up before uh, the end of the year. Right. We need help though, like any, any organization that's, that's nonprofit. Good. Now, Gene Frank, I asked him a question and he says, what was his question? why is the art district important? It's important because it's going to help the town, people are going to come here, it's going to help with business, it's going to help Everybody, okay? Think about the future so, generations. Right. Too. So, ladies and gentlemen, grazie, thank you for coming. Thank you, Hank. And uh, grazie. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for allowing us to come into your home. And please remember, April 24th, right on Art Hill, we're going to have a manja manja and have a good time. Maybe we're going to dance and write everything, Dancing, okay? Singing, spoken so, word. Now, let's just get a little toast here. Ready? <laughs> to the Art Hill. And until, until April. 24th, Allah's means your health. Here we go. Thank you.